Hey, Max. How you doing? Oh, hi, Mr. Jefferson. I'm okay. Um, and this is my friend, Chloe. Yo. Chloe? Why isn't somebody as cool as you going to Blackwell? I was way too cool for this school. It's a long story. And actual files here. I can imagine. Max, are you sure that you're all right? It's weird just being on campus like everything's normal. I know. Lame as it sounds, life has to go on. I think there's too much going on in my life. On that note, Blackwell duty calls. Remember, I'm going to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes contest tonight at the party. So I hope you'll be there to celebrate, even though I'm sorry you didn't enter a photo. I understand your reasons. You can't force an artist to work. So, you don't hate me for what I said to the principal? I'm proud of you for caring so much about a troubled friend. And I take hope in the fact that you have plenty of time to find your way. Just get in the habit of putting your work out there. Thanks, Mr. Jefferson. I'll definitely be there tonight. Me too. I'll be Max's date. You better dance with us at least once. <laughs> Nobody should have to see me dance. Plus, you don't want to watch the old hipster trying to keep up with the kids. I have some pride. Be seeing you. Yes, you will. Hot for teacher. Gross! You are out of control. Not yet. Just wait until the rager tonight. <sighs> Shut up. Don't be jealous because Mark Jefferson thinks I'm cool. I am so ignoring you. Fine. Since I'm here, I'll see if I can get some dirt from Justin. I haven't talked to him in a while. Now that is a great plan. Let's see if I can find out where Nathan is. So ironic that Warren asked Max to the drive-in. Hey, Brooke. How are you? I'm here as usual. By the way, thanks for helping Kate down. Are you okay? I need to find Nathan. Have you seen him around? Ask Warren. I mean, you're going to the movies with him and everything. Okay, Brooke, um, but right now I'm trying to find Nathan. Warren's not good enough for you? Okay. I saw Nathan pissed and walking off campus earlier. Good luck getting that date, Max. I have to go. Talk later, Brooke. Good. Nathan is not around. I should go back to Chloe. Clear away another batch of dead birds today. So how are you doing, Max? Been a tough week. I know. Yes, it has, Samuel. How are you? Sad and confused, like everybody else in Arcadia Bay. You look like you have a lot of questions, too. I definitely have questions about what's happening to the animals in Arcadia Bay. Oh, many do. These poor creatures have no choice in what happens to them. How can anybody explain all those poor beached whales? My dad was a fisherman, and he'd take me out to hear the whales sing. Now they... they just cry.
Do you think this is some kind of eco-disaster, or...? I think it's more than that. Somebody is causing all this to happen. You think so, Samuel? You and Arcadia Bay are connected by time and tide. So, next time I have a question, I'm coming to you. What do you think about all those dying birds? Samuel had to bury dozens near the Tabanga. What happened to them? I would say the sky is too dirty for their wings, but something worse is in the air. It's so ominous. Unless it's fate, then it doesn't matter. Well, I'm glad to see your squirrels are still healthy and happy on the campus. Me too. If something happened to them, oh. Not as long as you're here to take care of them, Samuel. The only thing that calms them is food. <laughs> Lots of food. Which reminds me th that I have to feed them now. Makes me mad. Climate change isn't real my ass. Hi, Miss Grant. Max, you always show up when I'm talking about you. I'm still bragging about you and the other students making Blackwell surveillance free. I was looking for Nathan Prescott, and I thought he might be in your class. I'm surprised, Max. I didn't think you and Nathan were exactly friends. No way. I just have to, uh... Ask him a question. I saw him leaving campus looking angrier than usual. But to be honest, Max, Nathan hasn't been too well lately. You might know more about that than me. Too much. I can tell. You look like you have more than a question on your mind. Maybe asking Nathan isn't such a good idea right now. You hear me, Max? I was hoping you could explain some of these crazy things happening in Arcadia Bay. If I could, I'd be collecting my Nobel Prize in science today. I haven't been able to wrap my mind around that eclipse, much less the snow in Wales. I think this is beyond science. Nothing is beyond science except for our lack of knowledge. We may never know why, but that doesn't change reality. I am worried about reality. I feel like it's changing right in front of us. You and Samuel both. We were talking about that before you came over. Our planet is changing, but it's not mystic. It's erosion. So, you don't think this could be some kind of prophecy or something? Max, you know how fascinated I am by Arcadia Bay legends. But I haven't found any apocalyptic signs yet. Unless you count those end-of-the-world posters. Unless you know something I don't. What about wormholes and chaos theory? I like the time travel stuff. The only wormholes in Arcadia Bay are underground. And chaos theory is just that. But if this is about time travel, sign me up. Would you really change time? Not after reading that Bradbury story. A Sound of Thunder. I won't give it away, but it involves dinosaurs and butterflies. Time is like a thread, Max. One tug and it all can unravel. I don't think surveillance would have helped, Kate Marsh. Who needs surveillance when we have Maxine Caulfield? You did a wonderful thing, and now we have to make sure Kate gets the help she needs. Do you need to talk to a counselor? Uh, no, no thanks, Miss Grant. I have my best friend and my parents. For now. I'm happy to hear that, Max. Just don't ever be afraid to talk to somebody, okay? I wish Kate had come to me. I had no idea what she was going through. Kate was drugged at the Vortex Club party and bullied by them until she ended up on the roof. How do you stop that? Shut down that damn Vortex Club for a start. I don't mean to get riled up, but that party should have been postponed. It's extremely tasteless given what happened with Kate. 
Do the Prescotts have anything to do with the Vortex Club? I mean, they don't get all their money from car washes. No, they don't. But membership has its privileges. Especially when your father is Blackwell's biggest sponsor. This elitist nonsense has no place here. You're right. I, I just wish this could be the school that I dreamed about before I came here. I hear you, Max. I love seeing you and Warren and all my students at your best here. But you're all too young to be so cynical. But you truly give me hope. I'm sorry, Miss Grant. I, I have to get going. I I'll see you later. It's always good talking to you, Max. I think everything is changing here. As a scientist, I'm fascinated. As Michelle Grant, I'm very worried. Arcadia Bay is scary. Get too. that food in your belly. The weather and the animals. Not to mention poor Kate Marsh. We all need to look out for each other these days. Justin, it's been so long since I've seen you. Coast is clear. It would be so cool if you and me were going to school here together. But now you can have Mr. Jefferson all to yourself. Ah, oh, you suck. Now let's get into Blackwell Ninja mode. So lame, they don't have co-ed dorms here. Yes, because I want Nathan Prescott in the room next door. Good point. Wait here. Give me the signal if Nathan or anybody shows up. I won't let you down, Batmax. Now I just have to find Nathan's room. Kate brings it. So room 111 is the magic number. This can only be Nathan's room. Now I need to find Nathan's phone. I don't think this prescription has helped Nathan. I'd cry too if I had him for a father and had to wear that suit. Nathan is way into this party. Bad sign. Oh, bastard. Now I remember why I hate you. And why Kate will get justice. Oh man. Sean Prescott might be Nathan's real problem. Too bad Nathan isn't more like his sister. She sounds awesome and far away. Yes, Nathan sure needs diet pills. This is strong Wow. <laughs> Kiss ass much, Principal Wells. What the hell are all those marks on the floor?
Let's find out what you're hiding. Oh yes, little phone. You are mine now. Now I have Nathan's phone, so I can show it to Chloe. Well, before Nathan comes back. Damn, Max, you're finally back. I got worried. So, what did you find? His room was clean and creepy. Check this out. Boom, Nathan. We got you by the balls, fucker. What are you doing in my dorm? You're such a nosy bitch, Max. Stop right there, Nathan. Make me, ho. <clears throat> Max, I got this. Get the fuck out of my face. You are so fucking dead! Uh, uh, Get off me, bro! Uh, oh. uh. You like to hurt people, huh? Like Max? Like Kate? Like me? Huh? Feel this, motherfucker! Get up! Off me! Please! Please stop! He's down! Hey, come on! Stop! Sorry. Yes, we have to go. Who's the bitch now? Chloe. Damn, Warren went full alpha on Nathan. And it was good, but scary. You're finally back. I got worried. So what did you find? His room was clean and creepy. Warren, stop it! Come on! Oh! Oh, my head! Why are y'all looking at me like that, huh? You and you! You're all dead! Let's go. Now! Plus, my dad is on his way. You're all fucked! He owns you! Even if Nathan definitely deserved a beating, we should try to be better than that. Damn, Max, you're finally back. I got worried. So, what did you find? His room was clean and creepy. Check this out. Boom, Nathan. We got you by the balls, fucker. What are you doing in my dorm? You're such a nosy bitch, Max. Stop right there, Nathan. Make me, ho. Max, I got this. Get the fuck out of my face. You are so fucking dead! Get off me, bro! You like to hurt people, huh? Like Max? Like Kate? Like me? Huh? Feel this, motherfucker! Get up! Off me! Please! Please stop! He's down! Hey, come on! Stop! <laughs> 
<laughs> Sorry. Yes, we have to go. Damn, that was intense. Warren, uh, th thank you so much. For what? For beating the shit out of Nathan Prescott? Dude, you rule. I don't know. I kind of went crazy there. Like Nathan. You're not anything like him. Good to know. So where are you going? I better stick with you guys. Just in case you need me to get my Hulk on again. Or should I call the cops on Nathan? No police. Not yet. Uh, so maybe you better, um... Warren, me and Max have to do this on our own. No offense. It's cool. Whatever I can do to help. What you can do is find out anything you can about Nathan's father. I'm on it. Between the snow and eclipse, I'm assuming the apocalypse is around the corner. And thank you. Seriously. I'll call you later. You better. I'm feeling pretty alpha now. Yes, you are. Man, that guy is so fucking in love with you. I know. He really did give a serious beatdown to Nathan. It was a little scary to watch him do that. Now let's make a date with Frank. Will he even answer you? Frank always answers when he wants money. Like I said, Frank wants to see me right now. Let's not keep him waiting. I hate seeing those poor whales like that. Me too. I just think of their families in the ocean out there looking for them. Well, that asshole's gonna help us find Rachel. Or what? You'll actually shoot him? Chloe, do not count on my rewind. Seriously. Obviously, I'm not counting on you. That's why I have a gun. And I might even save you someday. About time. I am so going to hit you. There's no way we could have guessed this is what would happen to us when we grew up. I'm looking forward to the day when we can just go on a road trip to Portland. Fuck yeah. You, me, and Rachel. Absolutely. So let's play this cool, okay? Just pay Frank his money, and then we can get that code for the book from him. That's all. Got it. No dicking around. Let's roll. Frank doesn't need tinted windows when they're this dirty. Oh, look. The Wonder Twins. You should have come alone. She's my partner. Yeah, we're bodyguard. So let's get to business. Where's my fucking money?
Oh, I thank you. That wasn't so hard now, was it? And let's not do any more business again. Now, if you excuse me. Frank? Could we ask you a couple quick questions? You have some serious lady balls. <laughs> no. Jesus, okay, okay. But I'm not getting you high. Frank, we're not here to get high. No, you don't look like the type. Not like Chloe here. So what do you hardy boys want? Just the names of some of your clients. Oh, is that all? Oh, well, why didn't you just tell me? How about I just give you the keys to my RV while I'm at it? Listen, Frank, I'm sorry to be such a nuisance, but this is important. Yeah, yeah, everything's important these days. But I can tell you're not bullshitting me. There's no time for that, Frank. I, I just need a little bit of information. Yeah, yeah, well, it always starts with just a little. And Chloe here knows all about that, don't you? Come on, Frank, this isn't about me now. Yeah, right, okay. Both of you are giving me a headache. No deal. Frank... We didn't come here to fight. This is so much bigger than us. What, you, you come in peace? After you aimed a fucking gun at me, and then pulled the trigger! To be honest, Frank, you scared me. You held a knife on my friend. I didn't want to pull the trigger. I could tell by the way you held that pop gun, with both hands like it was a magnum. Well, maybe I shouldn't have brought that knife to a gunfight. I only want to shoot with my camera. I swear. Ask Chloe. Look, Frank, Max doesn't need a gun anyway. So are we cool? Please? Okay. We're cool for now. But my dog isn't. And if you try any shit, he will bite your head off. He's done it before. We're only here to talk. I wouldn't mess with your dog. Shit, you wouldn't have time. You like dogs? I love dogs. Period. I wish I had one trained as well as yours. Yeah, he had a bad trainer before. Real bad. But he's dead now. And I trained Pompidou how to be my friend. That's very cool, Frank. Your dog is lucky you came along. Maybe we can focus on rescuing Rachel now? Rachel? Is that why you're really here? Yes. We're so close to finding her now, Frank. We need all the help we can get now. Especially from you. You and Chloe do not know Rachel like I did, and I couldn't even help her. You're in way over your heads. Why don't you just go play in your clubhouse? Rachel said she gave you one of her favorite photos. That proves how much she cares. And you care. That's why you have to help. How the hell did you know about that photo? That's my favorite picture of her. I can look at it any time and she'll always be there for me. I can't stand not knowing where she is. Not hearing her voice or her laugh anymore. We can change all that. It's up to you. Help us find her, Frank. Please. We really need your client list. Well, if there's a chance in hell, you two dorks can find Rachel. Yeah, I'll take it. My dog isn't barking at you, so I guess that's a good sign. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, Frank. Seriously. It's hard to take you characters seriously, but I want to. Good luck.
That was cool Frank gave up the code to help us. Rachel must have seen something good in him. Chloe, are you okay? I'm glad things worked out okay with Frank. It's nice to have one less enemy in Arcadia Bay. Amen to that. I'd better focus on this board and start tying these clues together. Let's look at Frank's drug deals during the week of the party. So, what? Rot must stand for Rottweiler. Yes, the game is on. Now, talk to us, account book. Tell us everything. Let's see if I can find any deal Frank made with... Hmm. Two deals with Nathan on the same day? Party supply. Frank sure is keeping his customers satisfied. He could open a store. Oh, yes. These are all the times and places for Frank and Nathan's deals. Uh, that's it, Max. Max, I know we can snap all these pieces together. Roger that. I'm gonna study the board and try to connect all these dots. Thanks to David's own investigation, I should be able to find out what Nathan did during the party's week. Does David know what's going on with Rachel, or is he just paranoid about... David really has been on Rachel's ass for a while. I hope in this case that David has good tracking skills. And that's all she wrote. <sighs> Please let me find some clues in here. Great. Now, how do I find out which car is Nathan's to match the coordinates? Hmm. Who does this car belong to? Of course Nathan drives an SUV. Overcompensating, as usual. Max, there's no logical link between those clues. Come on. Deduce Nathan's license... Interesting. Is this Nathan's car? Yep, another car David was tracking. Looks like this isn't the right combination. Huh. Why the hell are you fall? That's definitely Chloe's car. Oh yes, now we're finally getting somewhere. Chloe, let's plug in these numbers and see if they lead to an actual address. Aye, aye, Captain. Here we come, Rachel. I have to analyze Nathan's messages. What could help me unlock this phone? So busted. Holy shit. Nathan is seriously unhinged. But those numbers might be useful. Okay, Max. Let's blow this code up and go home.
Let's start hacking. I'll score. Now let's check out all the messages from the week Kate was drunk. Yes. <sighs> drug. God, so is this from Nathan's father? That's brutal. Take a breath, Max. Go through all this data and you can find out where Nathan took Kate after the party. Not much out there. Nope. Maybe I should try to link other clues together. Chloe, this is definitely the place. Let me dig up some more clues here. Nope. Nothing, Max. There's nothing here. Just some shitty old barn. Let's keep searching and find out who owns this haunted barn. I'm on this. Hold on. Somebody named Harry Aaron Prescott. I'm shocked. Should we call the police? Fuck that. You know the police here are like Nathan's private security, right? That's so messed up. As you've noticed, this whole town is messed up. We can't trust anybody, except each other. So we have to go out to that farmhouse by ourselves. I was afraid you'd say that. We could call Warren since he kicked Nathan's ass. It's just the two of us, nobody else. And I'm not scared at all. You have the power. I feel like we're this close to finding Rachel. We have to find her, Max. We will. But remember, my power isn't infinite. We still have to be careful. Do you hear, Chloe? Yes, sir. Holy shit, this is scary. I know, but we're here. Let's go find the best way in. Whoa, check this out. Fresh tire tracks. Dude, somebody was just here. Then we need to get in that barn. Chloe is so damn fearless. Where does that come from? Chloe, I found the front door. Come on. Oh yes, Maximus rules. This is way too Blair Witch. I have goosebumps all over. Come on, Supermax. Hey, check out this old chest. A little louder, Chloe. Jeez, that is ancient. Jackpot. Old shit. No, uh, look closer. Harry Aaron Prescott and family donate new library to Arcadia Bay. Prescott Industries celebrate grand opening. The Prescott's bring bomb shelter boom to town. Nice scrapbook. You search for more clues and I'll scope out the area. Yeah. 
Yes, old Prescott clippings. But that can't be the only thing here. <sighs> Nothing here. No more secrets, Sean Prescott. Go about the perimeter, Max. There has to be more here. No, Super Max. You can't open this with your bare hands. Okay, Chloe. Um, I, I found some kind of hatch, but it's locked. I. Chloe, can you give me a hand? Sidekick at your service. Up, up and away, Supermax. I dig having minions. <clears throat> that looks sturdy enough to stand on. So, that didn't work at all. The hook is attached pretty tight to the rope. I could use it to open the hatch. Try again. Driver strikes again.
Damn, this is heavy. What is this? Jackpot. Do I even need to say how weird this is? He just did. Who built this kind of place? A press god, of course. This bunker is so surreal. and ready for the apocalypse. This must have cost a fortune. Come on. Now what the hell is this? Whoa. This says it all about Nathan. He needs help. That's an original signed illustration. It's perfect in here. Somebody likes their whiskey. Jesus, I already hate this. These newspapers are all about Rachel and Kate. This place. So who's using this fancy tripod? Let's see what's in here. Oh my god. No. Whoa. What is going on between Nathan and his father? Come on, let's see what this shit is all about. We are. Okay, a binder marked Victoria, but it's empty. Look, the next one says Kate. Oh no, Kate. No. God, I should have killed that bastard back there. Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. <sighs> Victoria has to be next. Nathan must be planning to dose her tonight at the Vortex Club party. Rachel. This can't be real. These are all, these are all post shots, right? Right? Chloe, look at her face. She's out of it. Maybe, maybe Nathan paid her a shitload of cash to do this. She probably would have. I don't think so. Why is he putting her in the ground like that? Where? The junkyard. Max, we have to find that spot now. Then, then we can see what he did. There's no way she's dead. No way. She posed for those pictures, Max. I know it. Please, let's go. Oh my god. Rachel. Kate. All these files. This picture is framed different. Rachel is awake and fucking Rachel is passed out. This shot is so staged. I, 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 Kate looks so doped up. At least Kate was asleep through all this bullshit.
Slow down! Wait for me! I know exactly where I'm going! Look, this is it! This is it! Are you gonna help me, Max? Chloe, stop! Look. Please, no. Oh, oh that smell. Rachel! Oh. I hope Nathan enjoys his last party. Chloe, we can go right to the cops. We have proof. Fuck the police. Rachel wanted us to find her. So we could get real justice. And revenge. The Prescotts have had this coming for a hundred years, and nobody is gonna get in my way. Especially with your help. Right? I'm with you to the end, Chloe. You know that. I can't tell if they're different. What is there that? Can't be too Jesus, Chloe, look up at the sky. Impossible. Beautiful. I don't give a shit. The world is ending. Cool. You're not listening. Something major is going down. That's right. Nathan Prescott is going down. Welcome to the end of the world, ladies. I'm glad you decided to escort me. You look really good, Warren. Are you all right after today? I really flipped out on Nathan. I just hate bullies. And Max, he's dangerous. Where is he? I didn't see him at the dorm again. I was held up in my room. Dude, have you been drinking? <laughs> well, if you consider half a beer drinking. Let's go, Max. Hey, hey. I know this is a bad time, but can I get one picture? I've been feeling like this might be actually the end of the world, so... I want to have something for prosperity. Well, I don't blame you, Warren. I know, I know. I'm paying the booty. Just one picture. Uh... Action. We've got no time for this shit. Come on, Max. Sorry. I just wanted to feel like a normal student after this week's ultra-violence. I never hit anybody like that before. 
I was always the one getting my ass kicked. Hey, we still need your expert help. If you see Nathan, text me immediately, okay? And do not let him see you. He won't. I know how to be invisible here. Not to me, Warren. Text soon.
So let's plan a drone date next week. Energy drinks, soda, energy drinks. I know somebody has the booze. There's Courtney drinking alone without Taylor or Victoria. I wonder why. I'm going in. Sorry, but this is the VIP section. Members only. Okay? I don't give a shit about being a member. I just want to Victoria talk to you. Victoria specifically told me not to let you in. Nice try. Too bad you're not a member. Listen! No, you listen. Courtney is supposed to be the VIP gatekeeper, not me. So please go. I need to find a way to enter this bullshit club. Hey, Courtney. How are you? Uh, what is Max Caulfield doing at a Vortex Club party? <laughs> it really must be the end of the world. <laughs> Get it? But seriously, like, what do you want? I didn't want to be alone tonight after this week, so I thought it'd be nice to hang out in the VIP section. Yes, it is very nice. If you're in the Vortex Club, which you're not and will never be. So, excuse me. Great plan, Max. Time to find another way into the VIP section. Hooked up with Zachary again? She better be careful so he doesn't pull in revenge or something. Is it worse than my dad? Yes. I know Victoria is next on Nathan's hit list. Should I warn her? Yeah, that would be good. Uh, did you hear something? I'm trying to not to. Oh. members only. Sorry, I'm on the guest list. I'm taking you off. Go fuck yourself, Victoria. I don't have time for this bullshit. 
Real cute, Max. And after I apologized to you the other day. Do you even have a clue what's going on at Blackwell? Kate Marsh tried to kill herself in front of you. And me. Everybody here. That's not my fault, Max. Don't you even try to blame me. I blame Nathan for dosing Kate, but nobody at that party even cared she was so wasted. It's a fucking party! Everybody is wasted! What do you want from me? Some humanity to care. I'm the only person here who cares what Nathan is going through. I'm not the only problem child at Blackwell. This is bigger than a problem child. I'm not perfect, okay? I'm a teenager at an art school. I'm only here to become a photographer and get famous. Is that what you were trying to tell Mr. Jefferson last night? Uh, you saw me talking to him? Saw. And heard. We were just talking about how excited he is for the Everyday Heroes contest. That doesn't mean I'm going to win or anything. I hope you win fair. We'll see. And Max? I know you don't like me either, so it's not like we have to be friends or anything. Why the hell not? We're both into art and photography. We're both kind of weird and pretentious. If we hung out with our attitude, we'd get along fine. I almost asked you to hang out. You said my photos were Abaddon-esque. Then I remembered who I was. You should have asked me. It would have been cool to compare photo notes. Maybe we're too much alike. You might be right. Well, Max Caulfield, there's still time for you to get in the Vortex Club. I actually hope so, Victoria. Why do you say it like that? Victoria, listen to me. Your life is in serious danger. I know Nathan is your friend, but he is truly unstable and dangerous. He did drug Kate at that party so he could take her someplace dark. What? Nice try, Max, but I don't believe you. And why would he do that? That I don't know yet. But it was enough to make Kate want to die. And I think you're next. Max, that is crazy. Nathan is like one of my best friends. Yes, he takes serious meds, but that's not his fault. His family treats him like a total freak just because he has little meltdowns. They're not little anymore. They're deadly. I, I don't care if you hate me or not. You have to believe me. You could have been a major bitch to me when I got hit with that paint, and I deserved it. Max, I don't hate you. I actually think you're one of the coolest people at Blackwell. Weird, but cool. You just don't know it yet. Maybe I'm jealous because you don't give a shit what anybody thinks, and I do. To be honest, Nathan has been freaking me out lately. He's not here, and I haven't seen him. Just make sure you stay away from him, and stick close to your friends tonight, okay? I let you boss me around this one time. And I have other people I can go to for protection. Thanks for telling me this, Max. If what you said is true, then you be careful too. I've got my own protection. Um, text me if you need anything. I will. Thanks, Victoria. Au revoir. Mm -hmm. Maybe there's hope yet for Victoria and me. I'm glad I warned her. I hope she's okay. There you are. Chloe, Nathan isn't here. Nobody has seen him tonight. He's definitely not upstairs or in the locker. Damn. Maybe he's hiding in his dorm. Then let's bail. Nathan can't hide anymore. So, you made it. Oh, uh, hey, Mr. Jefferson. Uh, are you both okay? You look like you're on a... 
mission. Oh, uh, I was just looking for Nathan. Uh-huh. I didn't know you were pals with him. I haven't seen him since this afternoon. He, he seemed pretty upset. I think he's still quite upset over the, uh, the whole Kate situation. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's talk later, Max. I have to announce the winner of the contest. I do wish you would have entered. You have to build up that resume and portfolio, but I know you will. Thanks. I hope so. Okay, excuse me. I'm almost on. Let's get the hell out of here, Max. Okay, okay, everybody calm down. Thank you. Thank you. I, I appreciate it. Look, I don't want to get in the way of the party, but it's time to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes Contest. Before I do, I want to thank everybody who entered their photograph and everybody who thought about entering. Now, this is the most important step in being an artist. Sharing your work with the world. All of you represent Blackwell Academy and everything our school stands for. As far as I'm concerned, you're all everyday heroes. The envelope, please. And the winner is... Come on! Oh my, what a shocker. Victoria Chase. Mr. Jefferson, it was your incredible photography that brought me to Blackwell, and I hope I can live up to your name and fame. I also want to thank all the students for being so dedicated in their pursuit. And I'd like to dedicate this prize to Kate Marsh. <laughs> she is the real everyday hero of Blackwell, and I can't wait for her to come back. Thank you. Victoria won. Big surprise. I can't believe she blackmailed Jefferson. No. Yes, I can. Who fucking cares? Rachel is still dead, and I want Nathan's punk ass. Now. Me too. Let's go check out the dormitories. Nathan just texted me. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Shit. We have to go to the junkyard right now. Just get ready to use your rewind fast if Nathan tries to jump us. Rachel, I will get your revenge. I swear. God, I want to fucking kill that little psycho. Hey, I can't focus if you're yelling. Please. Max, please hurry. Oh god, Max, look. She's still there. Don't look, Chloe. Oh! No! Chloe! Look out! What 
What the fuck? Previously on Life is Strange. Whoa. What did you find? Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. We can't trust anybody except each other. You know more about her than me. No. You and Chloe think you know more than anybody. Like all teenagers. Oh, look. The Wonder Twins. What are you doing in my dorm? You are so fucking dead! Ah. Nathan is truly psychotic. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. <sighs> Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. What are you doing here, Max? Victoria has to be next. What a lame gimmick. Rachel, why is he putting her in the ground like that? The junkyard! Max, we have to find that spot, now!
Chloe. What? Where? It's a dark room. looking at myself like that. You'll pay for this, Jefferson. I promised I would never go back in time like this again. But this is the only way. This angle highlights your purity, see? The slightly unconscious model is often the most open and honest. No vanity or posing, just pure expression. Oh, Christ. Look at that perfect face. Hold that stare there! Stay still! Shot. But please don't worry. We have all the time in the world. For now, I knew you were special the second I saw your first selfie. Yes, I still hate that word. But I love the purity of your own image. Not like Rachel, who was always looking in the wrong places. Poor Rachel. Let me try this angle. Don't move! Oh. <sighs> Much better. Thanks, Max. If only Nathan could see this setup. He tried so hard. But you can't just throw a few subjects around and expect a cohesive style or theme. But he had an eye for shadows, and an eye for a whole lot more, as his elite family will find out, along with Arcadia Bay. Nice. Good. Oh, those eyes. It's just too bad you're so goddamn nosy, Max. But this room is under 24-7 surveillance, so all I had to do was text you from Nathan's phone. And you fell right into my hands. You really should have focused on schoolwork, not private detecting with your little friend. Chloe. Chloe, right. Yeah, I'm sorry that I killed, that Nathan killed her in self-defense. But she had a troubled history, like most Arcadia Bay dropouts. Nobody will be surprised. Or care. Though I promise, people will care when you die tonight, Max. I wasn't lying when I said you have a gift. Okay. Now this looks good. Maybe a few more close-ups. Max, please do not move so much. I need you posed and framed my way. Maybe a new dose will calm no, you down. No, no, no. 
Now don't move or this will hurt much. Stupid bitch! You just don't listen, do you? In fact, you never did hear much in my class. If you had, you might have seen all this coming. God damn, you are a fighter, though. I've had my eye on you, and I've noticed that you've been more fearless this week than maybe your whole life. Remember my number one rule. Always take a shot. I'm definitely more awake in this photo. I could try this one. No. That picture isn't going to help. And I can't go through all that again. I won't. Victoria. Hey, Victoria. It's Max. Can you hear me? Max. Oh, God. Where, where are we? Oh, what's happening? You've been drugged like Kate. And me. Do you remember how you got here? No. I don't know. Wait. You warned me. You warned me about Nathan. Then, then I went to Jefferson for help and he was acting so weird. That's the last thing I remember. And I can't move my hands. Help me, Max. Please, I'm sorry for everything. <laughs> Listen carefully. Mark Jefferson kidnapped us. He's using Nathan as well. Jefferson is very dangerous, so we have to get out of here before he comes back. Max, I just can't believe this is real. I don't want to die like this. I'm only 18. Victoria, please listen. I have a plan. Really? How, Max? I'm so scared. So am I. But we don't have time to be scared. We have to fight back. Now. Max, I can't even move my arms. How are we supposed to fight? I'm not going to let that asshole get away with this. I just... I need you to be strong. I can't do this alone. We need to act while we're clear-headed. If he doses us again, we'll forget everything. I'm not strong, Max. Look at me. Look what I did to Kate Marsh. Now she's in the hospital, and I'm here. We're both here, okay? I just can't believe this is happening. That Jefferson would do this to me, to us. Victoria, we will find a way to escape. I promise. Max, I believe you. This might work. Please work. I'm getting some spectacular images here, Max. Yes, Victoria would kill to be in your place, but she doesn't understand our connection. 
You're the winner, Max. I choose you. Your portrait. Fuck you. You're trying too hard. I know you're scared. You all have the same doe-eyed look when you wake up here. Replaced by fear as you realize what's about to happen. Mr. Jefferson, why are you doing this? Oh, Max. I'm so glad you asked that question. Uh, simply put, I'm obsessed with the idea of capturing that moment innocence evolves into corruption. That shift from black to white to gray and beyond. Most models are cynical. They lose that naivete. However, some Blackwell students carry their hope and optimism with them like an aura. And those lucky few become my models. My subjects. Yes. You're a psychopath. And this is your last session. Au contraire, Max. I'm so sane that nobody knows what's happening to you right now. As you can see, Sleeping Beauty here is too harsh for my gentle lens. And don't get me started on your late partner. I had enough of those faux punk sluts in my Seattle days.
You killed Chloe. You murdered my best friend. She had a loaded weapon. This was clearly self-defense, but that's what happens when you play with guns. Or try to fuck with me. It's better when they don't know. Like pure, sweet Kate. Kate believed, and she survived. You failed to break her. She's stronger than ever, and she'll outlive you. She'll certainly outlive you. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe I'll pay Kate a visit soon and test her faith again. You will not get away with this. I want you to know that. When you told the principal that I made Kate cry, I thought you almost had me. It's good our esteemed Principal Wells is like most administrators. A closet drunk. I do know that the Prescotts are going to have a major scandal when the town finds out what their elite son has been doing for homework. He's as sick as you. Don't judge people, Max. But that's why Nathan never should have been at Blackwell. That makes two of you. I help Nathan realize his vision. So few people get that chance. You brainwashed him! I became a sort of father figure for Nathan. It happens often in teacher-student relationships. It was kind of touching for a while. Did you tell him everything about your plans at Blackwell? Don't be stupid, Max. I told him what he needed to hear. In return, I had access to the Prescott fortune. Who do you think paid for this glorious darkroom and equipment? How else could I get all these hip new drugs for my subjects? Rachel Amber was your victim, not your subject. Oh. Rachel Amber. Hm. That's the real tragedy. Nathan thought he could be an artist like me. Instead, the dumbass gave her an overdose. Chloe and Rachel. You killed both of them. They're fucking together in heaven right now. Is that what you want to hear? Why? 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 Start listening to me, you dumb cunt. I'm sorry, Max. <laughs> that was not cool. Anyway. Rachel is dead. But no tears. Los Angeles would have killed her anyway, so... Look at this as a favor. You're evil. Oh, I see. You and your friends almost beat Nathan to death. See, we're not so different. Yes, yes we are. I cared more about Nathan than you did. No, you didn't. It's just too bad that he fell in lust with Rachel. He actually thought he could mimic what I do with the camera and subject, like father, but not like son. Where is Nathan now? Dead and buried. After what he did to Rachel, I knew I couldn't keep him as a protege for much longer. Now the police will never find his body. Do you finally get it now, Max? I can't compromise my vision with amateurs. You are an amateur. Look at the trail of death you left behind. You can't blame all this on Nathan. I don't care what you do to me. You're gonna die, motherfucker. For Chloe and Rachel and everybody else. I do love your spirit, Max, but you brought yourself here by your own choice. Anyway, I like my models to be seen and not heard, so I have to make sure there's nothing left behind of you. 
Okay. Now, let's see how these shots came out. I can see why your instant camera is so appealing. You don't need a computer to print your work out. I have all those photos in my diary. This could be a way out. Oh. Wait! Please, Mr. Jefferson. Max, I would love to talk shop, but I really need to go over these pictures. Especially while they're fresh in my mind. I think our session was a career high for me. You... you still have my diary. Don't worry. Nobody's going to read it. Thanks for reminding me. There's nothing more innocent than a teenager's diary. Oh, look at your selfies. What a waste of talent. Look at that shot, Max. You can do so much better. I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb I'm word back. for a wonderful photographic trick. Right back where I started this insane week. And nobody course, is going to hurt Chloe know, ever the again. The portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? The Daguerrean process. He was a real visionary, not a hypocrite. Uh, <laughs> what do you mean by that? I mean that he actually created something. He didn't just take pictures of models and pretend they were art. I'm not sure I get the connection, but, uh, yes, the Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear, defined features. <laughs> you can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max has clearly read more into them than I have. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday time Heroes. to change time. The winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the First, artwork. let's make it real easy to capture Mark Jefferson. And Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Bastard. I have to warn David about Jefferson and the dark room. I hope I still love photography when this is done. Don't confuse the art with the artist. Bastard. I should be able to track down David's number from the school pamphlet. Found you. For once, David, I'm praying you'll overreact to this as much as everything else. And take Jefferson down fast. Jefferson. 
You wanted me to enter the contest, asshole. So maybe I'll be going to San Francisco. And Jefferson, you'll be going to prison. The past within the past. Am I pushing myself too hard? It doesn't matter what happens to me. I have to save Chloe. Hi, Kate. Oh, hey, Max. Kate, listen to me. I am. Always remember that you're not alone. I've got your back no matter what happens. So do a lot of other people. We all care. We're all here for you. You need to know that. Max, that makes me feel so blessed for the first time this week. I, I don't know what to say. That's okay. Neither do I. Maybe we could both use a hug. Thanks. You always know the right thing to do. Victoria, I'm sorry you have to stand next to that psycho. Mr. Jefferson, we need to talk. Uh. Can you see I'm talking to Mr. Jefferson now? Yes, I see. But maybe you shouldn't. Uh, and why not? Hold on, Victoria. Are you okay, Max? I will be when Victoria understands that hiding behind a screen, posting videos of people is incredibly cruel and unfair. You're smart enough to know how easy it is to hurt somebody to destroy their life. I just want you to think about how much it would hurt if somebody did that to you. You can always make the right choice, Victoria. I know you've got a good heart. I've seen it. Listen, I, I didn't. You don't have to explain. There's no reason for you to be so insecure that you can't be happy with your own talent. Wouldn't it be better to lift people up than to bring them down? You could inspire people. Okay, I don't know what you're talking about now, do I, Mr. Jefferson? I think I should stay out of this one, Victoria. Then I guess I'm done talking. And that's okay, too. That was kind of random, Max. What did you mean? Here's my photograph for the Everyday Heroes contest. Oh, uh... That was easy. No. It wasn't easy at all. Well, I, uh... I, I can't prejudge yet, but I'm very happy you decided to enter. That means a lot to me. And Blackwell, the, the first step for any artist is to put themselves out there in the world without fear. To be... innocent. Or guilty. Uh... Thanks for the photo, and maybe both of us will be jet-setting to San Francisco this Friday. Or maybe only one of us will be going. Don't be so modest, Max. Anything can happen in a week. As you're going to find out, Mr. Jefferson.
Whoa! Okay. You're okay, Max. You're safe. On a plane. I hope I did everything right this time. Good work, David. Chloe. Oh, you're alive. Oh, you're alive. I did it. I fixed everything. Well, sir. It's so weird to be in between realities. Everything is out of focus and in the distance. We're almost in San Francisco. I'm so stressed, but I'm so excited too. Aw, I haven't seen Hot Dog Man in forever. Chloe and I used to totally play the video game and watch him all the time <laughs> when we were innocent. beginning of the end for Jefferson and the Prescotts. To admit, I love being called an artist. Please fasten your seat and stow any electronic gear until the plane is on the ground and at the gate. Thank you. We're starting our descent in a few minutes. It's a beautiful day in San Francisco with clear skies and cool 60 degrees. We hope you enjoyed your trip and we thank you very much for choosing Pacific West Air. Come fly with us anytime. Uh, I don't think so. I'm hoping these airline seats get smaller so I won't have to fly at all anymore. I bet this is a nice break for Principal Wells. How did you sleep? Hope I wasn't snoring out loud, Max. Just a bit. It's been a tough week at Blackwell. So I hope you'll forgive me. Between Mr. Jefferson and the Prescotts, things have been hectic to say the least. I totally get it, Principal Wells. That's a smart way of telling me to stop whining. We are proud of you for representing Blackwell at the Everyday Heroes Contest. I know I'm not exactly the guide you wanted in San Francisco, but we all want you to have a great experience here. I already am, and we're not even there. Another nosebleed? Max, you're not just screwing around with time. San Francisco is so cool. 
And this gallery is huge. So is the buffet. If an event skimps on the food, you know it's a bad event. As long as I don't have to eat any caviar. This is your day, Max. You can do whatever you want. I hope you take advantage of your status and talk to as many influential people here as possible. Work the room. I don't know. I, I feel so weird, like I'm a little kid hanging with the adults. Max, after this week, you are certainly not a little kid anymore. In fact, you're a noteworthy adult being honored by your peers. Now you have to start acting like the photographer you want to be. Hell, I wanted to be in charge of a big school someday. So I started taking charge of things when I was young. <laughs> Ask my poor classmates. Max, I'm gonna eat up that caviar so you don't have to. Uh, better get in there and start schmoozing. You know, I won't always be here to take charge. But you come talk to me whenever you want. Come on, Max. After everything that's happened, this should be the least scary thing you've ever done. Bowser, Max. You did it. Somehow. I went from there I am, along with all the other winners. I should say artists instead. I heard Mark Jefferson was supposed to be here tonight. Not anymore. That was Are you Max accurate. Caulfield? His work Bravo is going to be on your serious entry. cash. I'm the art critic for Iris and Max. I do not understand art. I guess everybody is a photographer is now. Different. Loving the retro vibe. Me too. Hi, and there she is to save the day. Hi. You did it, Max. You're a real artist. At least for today. Okay, we lost uh, you there for a second. Your notes. I'm okay. Uh, jet lag, high altitude. Oh, you left the ringer off, idiot! Oh, come on, please answer. What? Oh no. Chloe, where are you? I'm so fucking scared! I'm, I'm by the beach! I'm, Chloe! I'm can you hear me? Hello? Hello? Oh my god! The tornado was real! Oh, I didn't fix shit! Chloe will die! Arcadia Bay is gonna be destroyed! There has to be a way to stop this! For good! How much would you pay for that? Excuse me, I'd love to ask you a few questions about your work. Sorry, but... doing the time 
I just have to make one simple change so I won't end up in San Francisco. Simple. Sorry, San Francisco. Chloe comes first. Here again? I thought I fixed everything. What did you say, Max? What? Jefferson should be in jail, not here. Jesus. It's like you're back in my class. You're still spacing out. It might be cool if you took one of your patented selfies now. The transformation between the old Max and the new Max. Anyway, answer my question, please. Fuck you. Good answer. Good answer. Hey, your nose is bleeding. Probably gave you too big a dose. Sorry about that, Max. But considering you're about to die, a nosebleed is a first world problem. Oh, I had to let Victoria Chase go. You let her? Don't be stupid! Okay? She's exactly where she deserves to be. No. Oh. As if you care. Your iris, that dilation like a shudder. The pictures you're taking of me now. Too bad you pissed away your gift. You could have won the contest, but you destroyed your own beautiful photograph. What a waste. Sorry, I burned all your stuff. I got a little carried away. Fuck. He you know, burned my diary. I'm always. That's why I'm still here. Especially since you've developed from nerd to hero within a week. There's something... weird going on with you. Whoa. Did you see how crazy it is outside? Like I said, something weird. There's that fear. Oh, Max, it's an honor working with you on these final sessions. I hope these images will be appreciated for what they truly capture. The loss of youth. At least, that's the last lecture you'll ever have to hear from me. And I promise you, no more nosebleeds. Mr. Jefferson, please, don't do this. You don't know what's happening. Shh, 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 shh. Quiet. Quiet, Max. Please. Don't do this. I promise, this final dose won't hurt. Watch out! Time
time to shut the fuck up, okay? David, watch out! How? How did you know that? Jeez. No more nosebleeds. Wait, hold on. Can I... Can I please ask you for one last... request? Oh. You got me, Max. How can I deny that face? Uh, excuse me, but my throat is scratchy. Can I please have some water? Of course. I don't want you to be uncomfortable. This final dose won't hurt. What? David, watch out! How? How did you know that? No gun, no balls. Jefferson, it's over. You are not going to stop me. David Madsen, of course. Jefferson, it's over. Max, are you okay? Are you all right? Can you move? Yes. Thank you, David. Thank you. Don't thank me. You brought me here. Let's wrap up this son of a bitch first. He won't be going anywhere when he wakes up. Except you are going to prison forever. Or worse. Mr. Jefferson, now it's your turn to be captured in a moment. Save Chloe. He burned everything, including all of my photos. Warren, yes, I, I can use that picture he took of us. No signal. Thanks, Mr. Jefferson. But you won't need this anymore. I had no idea he was this sick. Damn. Jefferson torched everything. Now the only photo I can get is the one Warren took. Oh. I want to burn all these photos. I hate looking at me like that. Jefferson looks so pathetic now. Now, what the hell is this David place? Madsen is on the case. He's still looking for evidence.
David? Are you okay? Look at this place. It feels like hell. Jefferson was... was going to kill me. Like he did to Victoria Chase. Oh, no. I always suspected that son of a bitch. I never did. Until too late. You shouldn't have to suspect your teacher. He wasn't a real teacher. He just wanted to lecture. It was part of his sick plans. Well, you still had the right idea to tell the principal that Jefferson acted shady around Kate Marsh. And Max, I treated Kate like shit. I know she's a good person, but I'm not. I hope I get to tell her that soon. Kate was bullied up to that roof, but it was still Nathan and Jefferson who put her there. I knew Nathan Prescott was a threat. I just waited too long to neutralize him. Jefferson already did. They had some weird father-son thing going on. But Nathan killed Rachel, and Jefferson had to use him as a scapegoat. That pervert was pulling all this shit right under my nose, too. I could have stopped him and Nathan if only... I wasn't so stupid. No. I told Principal Wells Nathan had a gun and almost used it. But he didn't want to believe me. I should have been more loud. We all make decisions we regret. But I have to admit, I'm impressed by you. And Chloe. And your investigation. I had all the high-tech toys while well, you had each other. Maybe she learned from you. I think she only learned how to hate my guts. You both had a tough start. And I know it wasn't easy. I'm not gonna make any excuses for my behavior. I tried to be a good soldier, but I wasn't so great. I tried to be a good father, too. But when Joyce kicked me out, I had nothing. I'm so sorry about that. I didn't want that to happen. I should never have set up those surveillance cams. I kept all those files. I'm going to tell Joyce I was wrong about you. She does love you. It's pretty obvious. I try not to... Use my service as an excuse, but it's hard to come home after war. Most people don't know or care what it's like, except Joyce. She gave me hope, a new life. And you saved mine. Chloe, is she, she would be proud of you. I just want to see her safe with her mother. I promised Joyce I would go see a family counselor. Uh, I'll start by apologizing to Chloe. I don't expect her to call me dad, but maybe she'll stop calling me step douche. So, where is Chloe? David, uh, Chloe is, is dead. This isn't happening. He can't. No, God. Not Chloe. Max, are you are you sure? Are you? Yes, I. I saw her. I. I saw. Her. Jefferson Killer in the junkyard. Last night. Last night? When I was feeling sorry for myself in my hotel room? I promised Joyce that I would protect her and Chloe. How can I face her and explain this? I never even told Chloe that I... I God 
Damn it! You killed my wife's child, you sick fucker! And you took away my stepdaughter! David, wait! Max, I'm sorry. I'm sorry you had to see that. What a mess. What have I done? All that time I wasted with surveillance. I... Chloe, I'm sorry. Joyce, I failed you. My family. You didn't fail. You did your best. Max, you better get outside. You've seen enough of this room. David, thank you for saving me. Right under my Hold nose. tight, David. I'm going to fix everything. I can't believe Jefferson is dead. Why can't I just wait? Freedom. Holy shit. This storm is real. I need to find more. Right. Yes. Warren, can you hear me? Never mind. Listen, do you have that photo you took last night in the parking lot? Yeah, but why? It wasn't that great a shot. Yes, it is, and I, I want it. Where are you? I'm at the Two Whales Diner. Pretty much trapped in here with Joyce thanks to this Armageddon weather. I'm expecting the ocean to turn red. I'm on my way. Come on, that's crazy. We can barely walk on the sidewalk outside. Seriously, Max, you can stay wherever you are. I don't think the storm is getting smaller. I'm kind of scared. That's okay. Me too. But it's not over yet, Warren. So hold on. of sin and entitlement would lead to God striking us down. And I'm the one trapped in this fucking radio station. Somebody get me the hell out of here now! Now, God damn it, how do I pay all those prices? You have one new message. Message received yesterday at 9 p.m. Max, it's, it's Nathan. I just wanted to say, I'm sorry. I didn't want to hurt Kate or Rachel or, or I didn't want to hurt anybody. Everybody used me. <laughs> Mr. Jefferson, it's coming for me now. All this shit be over soon. Watch out, Max. He wants to hurt you next. 
sorry. Shithole delivering logs after the railroad closed down. You better go now. And I ain't never coming back here. You need a lift? No thanks. I have to find a friend. You go, girl. You go. Alyssa needs help again. How can I get out of here? He's dead. Electrocuted. right now. I need to breathe. Uh, I need air. I can't die in this room. I can't. You should get out of here. The whole town is dying. 
Okay. I better hurry to the diner over there. I need Warren's photo. not here. I hope she's in a shelter. I never even asked her name. Evacuation. Once again, this is not a test. This is not a test. A D6 tornado warning has been issued for Max. Arcadia Bay and surrounding counties. The emergency broadcast oh, system Max. is now in effect. Oh, Jesus, I am so glad to see you, sweetie. Are you okay? Yes. What about you guys? The two whales is barely standing now. I don't know if it's gonna make it through this tornado. Oh, poor Officer Barry and all those people out there. Okay, get your ass inside. I have to get back to this gentleman on the ground. Lauren has been gathering all the first aid. It's not much, Joyce, but it's all we have. You okay, Warren? How the hell did I ignore all those warnings, Max? The snow? The eclipse? There's nothing you could do about it, Warren. I'm so stupid. Should have seen it coming. Hello. So glad everybody is safe here. Um, but I need that photo from Warren to help cloak. Come on, Max. Let's talk over here and give Frank some rest and space. Joyce, how are you doing? Just when I think I've already been through the ringer. Where's Chloe? I... I'll find her. Not in this storm, you won't. And you're not going out there, Max. I just have to pray that Chloe and David are hold up someplace safe. I'm sorry about all this, Joyce. Don't be, honey. It's not like you whipped up this tornado on your own. Um, I mean, I'm also sorry about everything with David. You don't have control over any of that. David is an adult, and he has a lot more age and experience under his belt. Even if he doesn't always show it. I know. I just feel like everything that's going on with us is the perfect storm for Arcadia Bay. I just want our lives to be normal again. With all the shit going on this week, I think you're right. Then look at me, I'm trying to keep my family together. Max, did I make a mistake kicking David out? David saved my life from the storm. I saw how much he cares about Chloe, even if he couldn't show it. David needs you more than ever, and I can see why you love him. I'm so happy David was there for you. He has a lot of weight on his back from the war, but he truly wants to help people. He even agreed to take a family counseling class. I'm sure that was a hard thing for him to do. It shows how much he truly cares about you and Chloe. Nothing would make me happier than for David and Chloe to make peace, not war. But I don't know what to do anymore. I just... I just want this storm to blow over forever. Maybe it's time we leave Arcadia Bay. If we can. David is a real hero, Joyce. I know that all he wants to do is make you happy. 
I know he would do anything for you. And Chloe. I know. And yes, he's not William, but that's okay. He's not supposed to be. You reminded me of when he came into my life. I was ready to give up. David's love gave me strength. He even told me I was his hero. And I can't give up loving him. I want him to come back home. Oh, I hope I get to tell him that soon. Please be okay, Chloe. I can't lose you. Okay, Max. Excuse me while I go help this other gentleman. Frank, I'm so glad you're here. Yeah, it makes two of us. Now, if only I had Rachel back. Now, Max, what about that info I gave you? Did you and Chloe find out what happened to her? Oh, Frank. I don't know how to say this, so... I just will. Rachel is dead. God, no, please. Please, no, no, not Rachel. She can't fucking be. Are you, are, you, are you sure? I mean, how do you know? We used the names you gave us to track down a farmhouse. My professor, Mark Jefferson, has this creepy photo torture room. And we found out he was using Nathan Prescott to drug and photograph Blackwell students. Prescott? Fuck! Fuck, I knew it! I should never have hooked up with that sick punk! Pompidou hated him! You saw... You saw Rachel. Yes. I wish I didn't. I'm so, so sorry, Frank. Nathan wanted to impress Jefferson, and he... He killed her. How? Hmm. How did he kill her? He used some drug and... Gave her an overdose. An overdose? The only way Nathan could have done that is, is if I sold it to him. I killed my lioness. No. What have I done? Where is this motherfucker Jefferson? He's dead. He won't be hurting anybody anymore. Rachel. Oh, God. She was the one good thing in my life, Max. I know she was too young. I expect her to leave me, just... It's not how it happened. I would never have stopped her from going after her dreams. I know. Neither would Chloe. And I knew Chloe and her were... close. And I was jealous, but, uh... Now I see why Rachel dug her. And Chloe was man enough to ask me for help after all that shit we went through. Chloe would appreciate that. You know, the one time I met my dad, the bastard quoted the Bible and said he wanted to enter his house justified. In other words, to do the right thing. Me too. And maybe you're helping me get there, Max. Don't get me wrong, kid. I still think you're weird. But you're cool. People here. As long as I have my Pompadour with me. I hate to say I'm glad to see you, but I'm so glad to see you. That's okay. The important thing is that you're safe. And I know you can take care of yourself after Nathan. Should have done that a long time ago. But damn, Max. I can't believe you actually drove down here in the middle of a fucking E6 tornado. Just for one photograph? I mean, I know you didn't come for me. Warren, I came for all of you. Just tell me you do have the photograph. I just want... Now shut up and listen. Oh, yeah. You're finally going to tell me what you never did in the parking lot. I wish I would have. 
So I'm just going to tell you without any explanation. Trust me, okay? I always do. You should probably tell me quick. I had a vision in Jefferson's class of a tornado destroying Arcadia Bay. I went to the bathroom and saw my best friend Chloe get shot by Nathan Prescott. You with me so far? Where else could I be? Go on. Then I found out that I could rewind time. And long story short, Mark Jefferson is insane and dangerous. Whoa! Is that all? I have to go back in time. Jefferson already k killed Chloe. I can't let that happen. I have to do something, Warren. Max, going back in time is what caused the storm. All because... because of me? How? I'm not a real scientist, even though I play one at school, but this seems like pure cause and effect. Maybe chaos theory. What happened with Jefferson? Did... did he hurt you? He used Nathan to get drugs and money for him. Jefferson tied me up and dosed me with some drug and took sick photos of me. It was so horrible. Max, I'm so sorry you had to go through all that. You're the bravest person I've ever known. You know, I want to kill that son of a bitch. Where is he? Dead. History. Which I need to change fast to make it right again. Is that bad? For every action, there's... there's a reaction. Whenever you reversed or... or alter time, maybe you cause a chain reaction. Even in the environment. I know this all sounds insane, but you're the only other person who I can count on now. I wish we had more time together. Do you believe me? Max, of course I believe you. You're the most amazing person I've ever met. And I'm glad you trust me. Always. I just wish I could trust my powers. I guess we'll never know if it's magic or science. Even if it's from a wizard or a wormhole, you're part of something bigger. And I don't believe in fate or destiny, but after this week, I realize I don't know shit. That makes both of us, Warren. I do know you're here for a reason. And I guess it's up to you to find out why. Max, I'm sorry you got stuck in this. In this, I don't have a fucking clue what's going on. But I have total faith that you'll do the right thing when the time comes. I'm so proud of you, Max. How could there be a more important moment in history? And I'm in the middle of it with you? So thank you for trusting me. Thanks for being here. Always. Max, do you... Do you... Hey. Be careful out there.
for luck. Just in case we don't get out of this, I wanted to say... I know, Lauren. Of course you do. I'm gonna make the right choices from now on. I swear. That's why you're super max. Please be okay, Chloe. I can't lose you. At least I kissed Warren once. To let him know how I feel. Is it... For this shit. Come on, Max. Ugh. Chloe! Jesus, dude, what is up with you? I'm just glad we're here together. I guess you need to talk. No worries. It's all good. I'm glad you're with me, too. What's going on, Max? We have to find Nathan right now. He's gonna sorry, be Warren. connected to Rachel. Let's go. Now. Chloe, wait! Listen! I can walk and listen, okay? Stop and listen for once! Fine, Max. I'm listening. Chloe, you can't go in that party. You're going to... You're going to die if you do. You used your powers, right? And you fucked around with time and I died. Not like that. You're supposed to back me up. So there's no way that punk-ass bitch Nathan Prescott is taking me down. You're right, he won't. Mark Jefferson killed you. And others. Jefferson, the art teacher? That's bullshit! Nathan is the fucking serial killer! We saw the proof! Now excuse me, I'm going to that party to make sure he never hurts anybody again. Are you coming? Nathan is dead, and you're in danger. That fucker is already dead? How do you know that? Because I was there. Will you please tell me exactly what happened? Please. Mark Jefferson turned out to be a psychopath. Okay, Max. Let's go in there as a team and take his ass out right now. Chloe. Jefferson drugged and kidnapped me. I was tied up in his bunker. You have no idea what hell I went through to get back here. But I couldn't let you die. You brought me back here, and I can't lose you again. I won't. Um, Max, I'm... I'm so sorry. I was the one who dragged you into all this shit. Nobody, especially you, should have to go through that. I... Now we have to stop Jefferson. With one bullet. No. Not this way. Chloe, I, I can't keep fixing everything if all I'm going to do is just break it over and over again. I know how this is going to turn out, and I'm afraid I'm fucking up all these alternate realities. Wait, alternate realities? What do you mean, Max? What did you do? I fucked up, Chloe. I wanted to make things right, but everything turned out wrong. Max, what the hell are you talking about? I, I was able to go back in time to the last day William was alive. I stopped him from leaving, but... But you ended up in a car crash instead. You saw my dad again? You... You were completely paralyzed. And, and you, you were in pain, you were slowly dying, and you, you asked me to end your life. But Chloe, there was no way I could do that. I had to return to this timeline, to see you again. 
I had to. God, Max. That must have been... That must have been awful for you. I'm... I'm so sorry I had to ask you that. It was worse for you. But I had no idea what would happen, and as usual, I messed everything up, and... I never want to hurt you. Ever. You have to believe me. Of course I do. Do you think I would even know how to handle that situation? Nobody would. The important thing is that we're together again. You're right. That's, that's why you should come with me, so we can stay together and stay alive. I hear you, Max, but do you think we should let Jefferson get away with torture and murder? Of course not. If we tell David, he'll believe us and he can actually stop him, right? I don't get it. Why do you trust him after you totally reamed him the other day? He's not even at our house anymore. Chloe, no matter how much of a douche he's been, David truly cares about you. Yes, a slap across the face is a sure sign of tough love. You should have seen his reaction when I told him that Jefferson killed you. He was crushed. Are you serious? I... I can't see him showing any feeling. Except towards my mom. So what's your plan? We tell him everything, including that Victoria is in danger. Okay. You've been through so much. I... I believe you, Max. After all, I'm still your faithful companion. Yes, you are. So listen, in a few minutes, I won't know any of this happened. Nothing. We absolutely have to stay in your room and do nothing. Then we explain everything to David, and we finally let him do his job. You'll have to tell me exactly what I did and said just now. Just explain that I traveled through time using the photo. Will you believe me? I'll always believe you, Chloe. realities just to save my ungrateful ass over and over and I hope it was worth it but I don't blame you for wanting me out of your life after all my drama come on I'm the official drama king and queen of Arcadia Bay this week just look at what my powers have caused in just a short time ago. nobody you're Max fucking Caulfield Time warrior. Even if you weren't, you're kind and caring. Nobody could have a better best friend. No. You didn't ask for any of this to happen, but it did. You need to accept how awesome you are. Maybe I willed it subconsciously myself. I always wanted my life to be special and adventure, but not without you. And it, it didn't happen until I moved back here. So. Without you, my powers wouldn't even exist. And for whatever scientific, mystical reason that we'll obviously never figure out, we were meant to be together at this exact moment in history. I have to think that Rachel was somewhere behind the scenes, fighting for justice. I'd like to think that too. We all owe Rachel Amber. Now tell me everything that happened. You, you remember, right? Well, we... We left the party and made sure Jefferson couldn't find us. For once, I was glad I lived in an actual fortress. Then the storm got hella crazy, and, and you said we would be safe at the lighthouse. Chloe, look! The storm is getting bigger now. It's coming closer. Oh, I, I 
can't even believe this is real. This is happening because of me. Stop it. Just stop beating yourself up, okay? We both paid our dues already on it. God, look at that. Look at that monster. Who knows? This could be Rachel's revenge. Our revenge. The lighthouse is out of the way of the tornado. Come on! Chloe... I've got to go back, Alex. Whoa! Alfred Hitchcock famously called film Little Pieces of Time. Uh, I'm back in class. As he what the hell? Eyes. These pieces of time can frame us in our glory and our I have to listen to this Jefferson lecture again. This From might be hell. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer okay, who perfectly this captured is messed the condition up. in black and white? Am I stuck in a time loop? Anybody? Bueller? Diane Arbus. Be calm and there you go, don't Bueller. freak out. Why Arbus? Yet. Because of her images of hopeless faces. I feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as tortured, right? And frankly, it's bullshit. Shh, 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 shh. Wait, Keep it what's going on? Seriously, Nobody even cares? I can frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. Everybody's gone now. Have I totally fucked up time? This doesn't make sense. You didn't die, Kate. You're alive. Oh, that's too creepy. Oh, that's awful. I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. I just wanted to know if you'd like to spend the rest of your life in my dark room. Your purity inspires me so much, and we could be so happy together. Who needs selfies when I can give you portraiture? There's no way I'm saying that. No way. I've been dreaming of the day when you would finally tell me. I love you, Mr. Jefferson. Call me Mark. We need to play catch up on all the time we've wasted. Especially since there's nobody left in your life. I love you too, Max. This can't be real. I don't believe it. Max, why did you stop me from jumping? What kind of friend are you? You never understood me, or what happened to me. Now my family will never leave me alone, and that means I'll always be alone. Thanks to you. Kate, that's not true. I've always been your friend.
Don't try to hide, Max! Get over here! Let me capture you! Jefferson is coming after me again. Max! No. You used to be so pure, so innocent. Now, you have... Max. You used to be so pure, so innocent. Now... Max. You used to be so pure, so innocent. Now, you have to die. Please understand, Max. The only place I can be my selfie is in the dark room. believe you let that hillbilly murder me in cold blood. After everything I did for you, and you accuse me of making our sweet, naive Kate Marsh cry. Good evening, Blackness Coffee. Good evening, Blackwell. This is Principal Well, and I'm here to drop the mic on Max Caulfield. Attention. Max, where Max? Max, where are you? Max, come Max. Max, hey. What's up with you and that blue-haired loser? Being right about loser. everything, Trust and you end up blue. destroying the town. Use your power to cheat me. Your best friend forever? Ha! She'll always hate you! I may be a dick. Get your bony ass over here. I'm gonna cut you open, freak. Max. Max. Bony ass over here. Max. Oh no. Bottles. This might be hell. Now that Rachel. Well, these ones are too hard to find. I too, skank. Looks like there are still bottles to find. Oh, joy.
Don't you dare question the chef. Right, like you're the real cook here? I am, when your mom is away. I'll let her know that. Hello? Hey, honey. Just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the two wins. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. Excuse me, ladies. I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She don't have many bags of delicious grub for us you to waste You are ridiculous. Upon. You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Keys, please. Shit, where are those keys? Another dollar for the swear jar! You're bankrupting me! Aha! You can't hide from me forever! Now lock up after I leave. Play nice. Try not to destroy too much of the house. And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Dad! How long will this nightmare go on? I think you'd be perfect for my new photo series on retro grunge. You have the same qualities that I loved in Rachel Amber, but not Max. Max is a fucking child. Oh Christ, I know. And she never shuts up, does she? I'm so over her hipster bullshit. I think everyone at Blackwell is over Max. Let's prove it. Holy shit, Warren. Max is trying to play us both. I guess she's not as innocent as she acts. Not when she's trying to hook up with both of us. I only want to go ape with you, Chloe. Come here. God damn, you are a sexy bitch. Why hang out with Max, huh? Boredom. Plus, she's like my personal puppet. I hear that. Do you want a party? I got a drugstore in my room. <laughs> oh shit, look at Max spying on us. Take a fucking picture, bitch. Or take a selfie. See, this is how you bust a move, Max. No mosh pit for you, shaka bra. Damn, Victoria. You're a real woman. Not a little girl like Max. I fucking love your tots, Chloe. You're so hot. I can't believe it took us so long to hook up. Why did you get rewind powers? You don't even know how to use them. Rachel's dead and you're still alive. Life is so not fair. I wish she would have never come back to Arcadia Bay. You're the real storm. I'll be so grateful if this is the last digicode. Great, numbers are all over the place. How will I find the right code? Don't kill us, Max!
I guess I'll never dance again, Max. Right when I was about to start a I new life in California. Me. Honey, I always thought you were going like to kill me. And now you're going to take me So this is how you. Max gets so your revenge up. Cool. Why would you do wow, that? Wow, Max. I know I haven't had my best friend. Don't let the squirrels die. You've been a great hero. You've everyday always had my back. Hero. And now please, you're going Max, to let don't me die. Please, Max, so we can Thanks, finally Max. have our tea session. I wish we had been friends, Max. Who? Please. Who are you? Holy shit, are you cereal? I'm you, dumbass. Or I'm one of many Maxes you've left behind. Can you get me out of here? Oh, so you want help? <laughs> Thought you could control everybody and everything, huh? Twist time around your fingers? I tried to help. I only wanted to do the right thing. No, you only wanted to be popular. And once you got these amazing powers, your big plan was to trick people into thinking you didn't give a rat's ass. That's true. I wasted my power on trying to be friends with everybody. About time you admitted that. But it's way too late after everything you've done. But I still have great friends. And my power helped some. Please, stop playing innocent. You're a goddamn hypocrite. You've left a trail of death and suffering behind you. That was not my fault, you son of a bitch. Don't you dare talk about our mom that way. <laughs> what about the crap that was your fault? Wait, wait, let me guess. You fucked up time and space for your precious punk, Chloe? <laughs> you think she's worth all that? This has to be my destiny to save her. I wouldn't be trapped in here if I didn't believe that. No kidding. Chloe trapped you with her drama. Guns, drugs, Rachel. Even stealing money from the handicapped fund. She's just using you, dude. Like, she even asked you to end her life and do what she couldn't do by herself. Chloe does a better job of guilt tripping me than you do. Because you let her bully you. It's called Stockholm Syndrome. But you didn't do that homework, so you'll have to learn the hard way. Like Rachel. Just shut up. You're not scaring me anymore. I'd be more worried about Chloe killing us than Jefferson. Max, do you really think she has any feelings for us? You're just another puppet. Man, you are so stupid. <laughs> I'm embarrassed to have the same name. And someday Chloe will destroy... <laughs> Oh, hell, speak of the devil. Dude, do not even fuck with her head. She knows what we went through together this week, and you don't. There's no way you can break up our team. This is reality. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. I am seriously glad to see you. Welcome home, Max. Fasten your seatbelt. I, uh, know it was your birthday. This song fucking rules. Can't You were here today, Max. You saved me. I'm still tripping on that. Let's talk about your superpower. Welcome to American Rust, my home away from hell. You saved me again. Crazy. Now we're totally bomb. I'm so glad you're my partner in crime. Max, you better come check out these files. Cowabunga! Let's call it a draw. I'm gonna photo bomb. I double dare you. Kiss me now. Oh, we could cruise everywhere in this bad boy. Can you see? Not until I see it first. You know the rules, Dad. It's weird hanging out with you again. I know. Oh, awesome picture. Chloe, you're back. Kate wasn't the first. We 
Rachel. Oh, Rachel, no, no, please not her. Come on, Max, we're almost there. the only way. I feel like I took the shot a thousand years ago. You... You could use that photo to change everything right back to when you took that picture. All that would take is for me to... to... Fuck that. No. No way. You are my number one. All that matters to me. I know. You prove that over and over again. Even though I don't deserve it. I'm so selfish. Not like my mom. Look what she had to give up and live through. And she did. She deserves so much more than to be killed by a storm in a fucking diner. Even my... My step... Father deserves her alive. There's so many more people in Arcadia Bay who should live. Way more than me. Don't say that. I won't trade you. You're not trading me. Maybe you've just been delaying my real destiny. Look at how many times I've almost died or actually died around you. Look at what's happened in Arcadia Bay ever since you first saved me. I know I've been selfish, but for once... I think I should accept my fate. Our fate. Chloe. Max, you finally came back to me this week, and you did nothing but show me your love and friendship. You made me smile and laugh like I haven't done in years. Wherever I end up after this, in whatever reality, all those moments between us were real, and they'll always be ours. No matter what you choose, I know you'll make the right decision. Chloe, I can't make this choice. No, Max. You're the only one who can. Max, it's time. Not anymore.
Max. I'll always be with you. Forever. Yeah.